welcome back here on the John 4K Show, sponsored each week by Veterans Ford. It's our player spotlight feature, and uh, we look at players uh, across the National Football, well, be entering the National Football League, but mostly from our area. One of the guys that will be playing in the New Orleans Bowl will be Vernon Butler, big defensive tackle from Louisiana Tech. Uh, I knew a lot about him. Uh, he's a Mississippi guy, came out of there, had scholarship offers late to go to Ole Miss, Mississippi State, but Tech had hung with him. The entire time, 6'3", about 320 pounds, 48 tackles, three sacks this year. John, but he's constantly getting double teamed. He's a big guy in the middle, stuffs the run, occupies two blockers. He's become much better in his ability to get off a block and get into the middle. Really good athlete, though. I mean, a terrific, terrific athlete. So Vernon Butler is, I think, a guy that will be picked in the third round. He's that good of a player. He's not a great pass rusher, but he knows what he does best. He occupies space, ties up blockers, stops the run. Now he's more probably going to be in a, a 3-4 defensive scheme where he's yeah. a nose guard off to the edge every now and then where he's set. If he's they, not great, they cock him a little bit on both sides. Right. If he's not good or he's not great enough to be a pass rusher, he's more going to be a run blocker, run stopper, clog it up at the linebackers, make some plays. And, uh, uh, you know, six foot three, 320 pounds. He's a big size. dude. You ain't going to miss him when you see no, him. No, that's a good size of being inside right there. You say he's quick enough and, and uh, durable enough. And he's played in, in the offense. I mean, excuse me, he played in a conference that throws the football a lot. So obviously he knows what it's going to be like when he steps to the next level because the NFL does throw the football and he's got to be prepared for that. One of the things, too, he does real well, he gets his hands on that center fast. In a couple of games, you can see it. He reminds me sometimes of he kind of can flip the switch like Jumper used to be. Man, he gets under your pads and almost like fucks a few right back into the quarterback. Uh, I don't know many guys he can do that with at the NFL level, right. but he's done, done that at Louisiana Tech. Real impressive guy, and I think certainly will be somebody that will be a, a top 100 pick when it's all said and done. At Arkansas State, depends on what game it is. Sometimes they don't throw the football a lot, but there's a run-blocking tight end there. That is a terrific prospect in Vernon Griswold. Uh, Darian is a terrific tight end. I saw him in high school. He was a quarterback who also was a terrific basketball player. Connect the dots. Now he's playing tight end, 6'5". They generous at 255 because I think he's more like 265, 270. 13 catches this year, two touchdowns. Not a lot from a statistical standpoint. Caught a lot more passes a year ago. But Darian Griswold is a huge target. He's a very good receiver, reliable, but an outstanding run blocker. He's a later round pick. If you've got a little time to kind of get that sandpaper off of him and you know bring out some of the, the good spots, he's a guy that can play at the NFL level. If you look at him, six foot five, two fifty five, former basketball player. And that'll tell you right now the way the NFL goes these days. They want guys like that, six five, six six, with the athletic ability to play basketball. And this young man right here, like I said, he hadn't caught a lot of passes this past season, but he's a good run blocker. He's, he's not a Jimmy Graham, I guess you could say, where he likes to block, and he's going to work on his catching. But Jimmy Graham was that, that pure basketball guy who was more of a catching the football, wasn't a great blocker. Uh, if he can block somewhat when he gets to the next level and they can work on him running pass routes, I think he'll be around because you don't find 6'5", 255-pound guys playing tight end. You, you bring up the route running, and I think that's something he's got to work on quite a bit. But being a former basketball player, one oh, thing you? I do, I know you what he knows how to do. You a basketball player? No, I, oh. no, no oh, yeah. exactly. Oh, okay. But he is, he knows how to catch the ball right. with his hands. And, and now I think that's something that uh, is evident well, when you, you watch him play. You're seeing that a lot, Mike, in the NFL right now. They got Antonio guys, Gage, Jimmy Graham, all of those guys. They go up with their hands and they, and they catch their hands above the defensive back guys. And that's not, they're not waiting for it to come in. They're going up and, and try to snatch it prior to them getting the ball at the point of impact. And they, they've already got it before they even hit the ground or before they even get the defensive guy looks around. So if you get six foot six guys, six five guys who jump, and I'll jump people. That's tough to defend. The other thing, too, is, man, you're not, you're not crazy about trying to tackle that cat once he gets, his, uh, you know, a couple of uh, yards up the field. You know, he's a big guy. I mean, you, you, better, you better clip him down pretty good at that stage. But I think you brought up a great point about this game, that it is going to be a high-scoring game, kind of the last roundup. Other than the senior bowl, Jeff Driscoll, Vernon Butler, who we talked about, Kenneth Dixon, three guys from Louisiana Tech headed to the senior bowl. That's impressive of what Skip Holtz has been able to piece together at Louisiana Tech. He's done a great job at Louisiana Tech, and uh, I'm looking forward to it. I'll be at the game. I'll watch it and see it. And uh, 
Uh, I like to see games where they're up and down the field, you know, a little bit of defense, you know, somewhat, before the coin toss, but uh, in practice. But uh, I'm looking forward to it. And you're right, these three guys are going to the Senior Bowl, and that's a big accomplishment there. They'll get seen in this game, and then down the road they'll go to the Senior Bowl and they'll be seen again. Other thing, too, about this game, it's the only game in town this that's week. That's it, man. And just that's think it. about it. If you're an NFL scout or a team, you get to watch it because there is no other game that you're competing against, so right. you're on a big stage. We'll be back with more of the John 4K Show, sponsored each week by Veterans Ford.